What do we do once the baby is born and the APGAR scores are fine? We dry the baby off and we put them under the warmer and we measure them and we weigh them and we do a head circumference, things like that. One of the common things that we do, okay, is I am vitamin K. So vitamin K is given as part of routine newborn care. In this country, we give it intramuscularly. The reason we give vitamin K is to prevent hemorrhagic disease of the newborn. When babies are born, they are not colonized with bacteria. Our gut flora, okay, our gut flora produce vitamin K for us. When a baby is born, they don't have gut flora. So they're not producing vitamin K and they can develop hemorrhagic disease of the newborn which presents many times as GI bleeding. They're not going to be gushing blood from their noses or gushing blood from the umbilical cord, but they might have some GI bleeding. This is so preventable by just giving intramuscular vitamin K, and it's done. And in a few days, the baby's colonized with bacteria and producing the bacteria producing vitamin K for the baby to absorb. So that's part of what we do. Something else that we do is we put erythromycin on the eyes. What we're trying to do here is to prevent gonococcal ophthalmia. So they will pry open the eyelids and they use erythromycin ointment to help prevent gonococcal ophthalmia. You need to remember that this does not, does not prevent chlamydia. So topical treatment does not prevent chlamydia. It is routine to give vitamin K and erythromycin to every newborn in this country. Okay? So it prevents gonococcus, but not chlamydia, which is why chlamydia is the most common infectious cause of conjunctivitis in the newborn. They also will do umbilical cord care. Some people don't do anything. Some people use this blue stuff. Some people use just alcohol. They'll do umbilical cord care. And every newborn in this country, before they're discharged, will have a hearing test done. They also will have metabolic screening done as part of routine newborn care. All right? 